India's fighter fleet is in a transitional phase, with MiG-21 retiring and the Rafale fleet still growing. The Su-30 MKI remains the backbone of the Indian Air Force. But in a region where China continues to expand its J-20 stealth fighter force, and Pakistan relies heavily on U.S.-supplied F-16 and the China-Pakistan-made JF-17. The Su-30 MKI needs more than just size and maneuverability. It needs next-generation sensors, weapons, and networking to stay dominant. Recently, Russia has offered India a major technology transfer deal centered on the KH-69 stealth cruise missile, showcased prominently at Aero India 2025. This missile can strike targets up to 400 kilometers away, flying low and radar evading, making it ideal for precision strikes on enemy air bases, infrastructure, and command nodes. Now, the question is, with these upgrades, can the Su-30 MKI outclass its regional rivals? The Su-30 MKI is already known for its supermaneuverability, thanks to thrust vectoring engines and a large aerodynamic frame. But pure maneuvering is not what defines air combat today. Sensors, radar, electronic warfare, beyond visual range missiles, and pilot training dictate outcomes. That is where the new upgrade package comes in, UTOM ESA Radar Advanced Electronic Warfare Suit improved data links and modern cockpit displays. Combined with weapons like the Osram, Astra MK2, Brahmos NG, and now the proposed KH-69, India is pushing the Su-30 MKI into a true multi-role strike dominance platform. When we compare against Pakistan's F-16, F-16 are nimble and network reliable, but depend heavily on U.S. support, the software restrictions, and limited weapons integration. With ESA radar and Astra MK2 BVR missiles, the Su-30 MKI regains long-range engagement advantage, something missing during the Balakot era. Meanwhile, with the JF-17, is a lightweight, cost-effective fighter designed for patrol and interception. It cannot match the Su-30 range, speed, payload, or sensors. With Brahmos NG and KH-69, the Su-30 MKI can strike deep into hostile territory, something the JF-17 simply cannot counter. However, this is where realism matters. The J-20 has stealth advantages and is optimized for BVR first-shot, first-kill engagements. However, air combat is not only about the aircraft, radar networks. AWACS support, pilot experience, and tactics decide the outcome. India's integrated Su-30 MKI fleet, backed by Netra and Falcon. Training intensity and increasing sensor fusion narrows the gap significantly, especially in contested airspace like the Himalayas where stealth performance itself is reduced due to radar geometry and terrain. Pilot proficiency, maintenance quality, sortie generation rates, and real-time coordination define air dominance. And here, the Su-30 MKI has one major strength. Indian pilots fly more hours per year than both J-20 and JF-17 pilots giving them better flight confidence and tactical adaptability. So can these upgraded Su-30 MKI outclass its rivals? Not with just one missile, not with just one radar, but through layered upgrades, modern weapons, and consistent pilot excellence. The Su-30 MKI is evolving into a networked air dominance and deep strike platform a platform that reshapes air power balance in South Asia. And the story isn't over. The next chapter depends on how fast India executes these upgrades.
and how effectively it integrates homegrown technologies. Because in the skies, the edge belongs not just to the aircraft, but to the nation that adapts fastest. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about SU-30MK iFighter Jet in the comments section.